Welcome to PICO in Practice. PICO is a strategy used in evidence-based healthcare to help frame and answer a clinical question. So it stands for Patient or Population Intervention Comparison and Outcome. So our sutras generally start with something broad like this, rehabilitation for stroke patients, but we need to narrow that down and make it more specific in order to really target our search. So let's start with population or patient. In this question, we're looking at who exactly are our patients? How would we describe a group similar to our patients? And how would we, how would we describe our focus population? Um, in this case, we're gonna say that we're looking at stroke patients. So we're going to specify some demographic and some condition details. So let's say we're looking specifically for males and we're looking for males over 60 and we're looking for males over 60 who present with hemorrhagic strokes. Now for intervention, we're asking ourselves, what are the main interventions, the prognostic factors or the exposures that we're considering? In this case, we have a really broad term, rehabilitation, and we need to narrow that down further. So we can either focus on a specific intervention that we're interested in, or we can connect that intervention to the outcome. So by that, I mean what we're going for and how we can get there. So in this case, let's say we're looking for the outcome functional mobility. If we're looking for mobility, then our best bet would be physical therapy. If we were looking for speech fluency, we might look at speech language pathology. If we were looking at memory as an outcome, improved memory, we might look at neurology. If we were looking for um, independent living as an outcome, then we might look at occupational therapy and a blend of the other therapies. So in this case, since we're doing functional mobility, we're going to do physical therapy as our intervention. Now, physical therapy itself is also a very broad category. So we could narrow that down further by looking at a specific type of physical therapy. We could do dryland therapy or aquatic therapy. Under dryland therapy, we could look at some different options like overground gait therapy. So that's what we'll pick for this one. We will do for our intervention, physical therapy, dryland therapy, and overground gait therapy, or some variation therein. For our comparison, we are looking at the main alternative to compare to our selected intervention. So in this case, we're going to look at a specific alternative for physical or for, sorry, um, for mobility. So we're going to pick aquatic therapy. So a comparison is a good thing to think about, but it is optional. You don't necessarily have to have one, but it's a good idea to keep a viable alternative in your back pocket if you can. For our outcome, this is what we hope to accomplish, measure, improve, or affect. Sometimes there isn't a direct outcome. Sometimes we just want to know what could potentially happen with a selected intervention, and that's fine too. But in our case, we did have functional mobility as our outcome, and we will stick with that. Often it's good to look at what you hope that intervention will accomplish because it can help you narrow your search further. So here we've used PICO to get a specific targeted PICO statement and a clinical question. We started with a broad category or the broad idea of rehabilitation for stroke patients. Then we narrowed it down to male aged hemorrhagic stroke. Um, we are looking at the intervention of physical therapy, specifically gait therapy. Our comparison is aquatic therapy and our outcome is functional mobility. So a clinical question that we could go with is in aged male hemorrhagic stroke patients, to what extent does dryland therapy as compared to aquatic therapy restore mobility? So we've got all of our elements represented there. So your next steps, use your PICO elements to plan a search. So you wanna take each one of those elements and treat them as a keyword map out your related terms and your synonyms, and then consider um, how accurately those represent what it is that you're hoping to find. Then decide where to search. For this one, I'd recommend starting in Medline and CINAHL, but we have a really great list of resources on our nursing and health studies database list, so make sure you check those out. Then search and revise. So do a couple of searches and see what you find. Are you finding relevant results? Are they meeting your needs? Do you feel like the search is too specific? Do you need to broaden it a little bit? So you'll have to come back and it's an iterative process. So you'll go through a few different searches before you find what you're looking for. And make sure you check out some of our search tips because they'll help get you there a little bit faster. And if you need help, don't hesitate to reach out to the library. We're very happy to help.